let's get into our cooking segment. This dish is, I know, something I'm going to love. I'm very excited about all your ingredients. Tell us what we're working on. Good, thank you. We are just going to make um, kind of, I know mean, y'all probably seen those on Facebook or TikTok or wherever. Um, a lot of people are doing um, sauces in a baking dish and using like pork and cheese yeah. or feta or um, a lot of different things. And so today we, I kind of revamped one of the recipes that I've done before. And this one is going to be a creamy shrimp bake. So we're going to do the whole sauce in the mm -hmm. oven, let the oven do our work. And then we're just going to cook a little bit of pasta and add it in at the end. So, um, and I know it is Lent and a lot of people are maybe looking for um, some seafood options. And meat so I thought, yep, yeah, meat alternatives. So I wanted to share a shrimp dish today. So you can use either two pints of grape tomatoes, but the, um, the regular tomatoes were so pretty so I just grabbed four of those and chopped them up and then I just have half of an onion I just chopped up. I remember what I was going to ask you. Oh, what? Go ahead. Do you, do you have any um, trash TV as I call it? Things that are your go-to when you're doing something? No. All my friends watch all the Housewives yeah. and no I watch I did the only Housewife show that I ever <laughs> watched was Dubai. I watched a little bit of that oh, one wow. when it came out I guess a couple years ago but I quit. Um, I do watch TV, but not like reality TV, I guess. Yeah, only so. stu only Studio 10. Only only Studio 10. Of course. Exactly. All right, so, so what have you added in there? I also added um, six cloves of garlic, and then I did a little bit of pepper and some dried thyme, mm -hmm. a little bit of red pepper flakes, some dried dill, some salt, and some dried oregano. And I'm going to add in, I like to buy these little bottles of red and white wine just to have um, to cook with. So I'm just going to add half a bottle of the white, which is about a third of a cup. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to stir that up and then I'm going to add in one bag of, and you can do it frozen. I just like to buy, we have peeled deveined gulf shrimp just right there in the frozen section. So I like to keep that on hand just for quick dinners. So I'm going to add in, and it's still frozen, one bag of shrimp and then I'm going to nestle in. I'm just going to use cream cheese because it's affordable and regularly available and um, not a huge commitment and the flavor is mild. A lot of people don't care for um, feta cheese, but you could do the same thing with a block of feta and then I'm going to pop this in the oven at uh, 350. It's going to go in for um, about 20 minutes and then we're going to um, add some fresh spinach and keep going on it. I'm looking at that, the, the shrimp that came out of there, a lot of times when they say peeled into vein, there's still a lot of stuff left over. That looks pretty legit. <laughs> they are, That's yeah. High quality shrimp. I know, they're really good. And like I said, they're Gulf shrimp, so it's really good quality. Yeah. And um, we just keep them right there in the frozen section. So now I'm just going to put this cream cheese in there and I'm going to pop it in the oven. All right, sounds like a game plan. We're going to continue to work on the process and tell you all the things going on at all of the Greer's mm -hmm. locations across the Gulf Coast in just a little bit. Lucy, I'm excited. Can't wait to try this all out. All right, thank you. We are back in the kitchen with Lucy Greer with Greer's Market. She is making her creamy shrimp pasta bake. Okay. Things are in the oven. The yes. sauce is in the oven, right? It is. So in the baking dish, the first segment, we um, sprayed a baking dish and we added shrimp and tomatoes and onion and garlic. Okay. We added some spices and um, some white wine, mixed all that up, and then I put a block of cream cheese in the middle. So that's in the oven and um, it's cooking away. And then we're going to pull that out and add some fresh spinach. And in the meantime, we're going to be cooking our pasta. So okay. it's kind of like, you know, that's in the oven and I'm going to add eight ounces you can use whatever shape I'm just using some whole wheat penne pasta because that's what I like mm -hmm. and it's what I had um, but you could use whatever pasta um, so this is really um, you know besides boiling the pasta it's really an easy cleanup you know it doesn't make a lot of mess um, so we're just gonna cook that for eight minutes while the um, the other is in the oven and we'll keep moving on that in the next segment how long do you have to put that to bake so for? that good question that is at 350 and so we're going to cook that for 20 minutes and then I'm going to pull it out and actually over the break what I'll do is I'll pull it out and I'm going to add one bag of fresh spinach in there and just push it down and just cook it for another five minutes and then um, we'll add the cooked pasta and the, the lemon juice and lemon zest. Oh, so, it looks yeah, pretty so it doesn't good. take too long. And it looks like it's pretty easy to yeah, make as well. Super easy and if you wanted it to be completely meat free you could just do the same thing and not even add the shrimp. 
trip. It would still be a uh, delicious flavor and super easy to do. All right, so for many people that may not be familiar with Greer's Market or are familiar with Greer's mm -hmm. Market, you do offer some delivery options, correct? Yes, we do. We have been doing curbside pickup mm -hmm. for years, and we also deliver through DoorDash. And we're actually starting something new. It's hard to believe, you know, it's funny. I feel like everybody just kind of works in seasons. It's like, okay, Mardi Gras is over. Yeah. Next up is spring break. Oh so um, a lot of people are going to be going down to Dauphin Island for spring break or, um, you know, they have weekend houses and people, a lot of people um, travel um, from up north and come down to the island. So actually on March 1st, just here shortly, we are launching our beachside delivery. Um, so you just go to greers.com slash shop. And so if you're going down to Dauphin Island, we're starting there. Um, we can do all your shopping for you and even get it into your condo or your house before you arrive. Uh. And then we can also do deliveries, of course, while you're there. So whether you're vacationing, um, for spring break where you have a house yeah. down there, you know, and yeah. you just don't want to, or a condo, and don't want to do the shopping. So that's a lot of fun. Um, we've been working on that. So we're gonna, um, like I said, we already have curbside pickup. So if you don't want it delivered all the way to your space, you can of course just do the curbside and swing by the store and get it on your way to the island. Um, or if you want it delivered and um, set up for you before you get there, you can do that too. So greers.com slash shop. That is extremely convenient because I know when I go out of town, you want to have your food, everything in your fridge. Yeah, absolutely. So. I know it's kind of like either you're going to get everything, you know, yeah. before you go or sometimes it's just easier, you know, yeah. to, to handle it when you get there so you don't have to pack all the ice chests and everything. So, yeah, so if you're planning spring break, um, remember the, the delivery for Dauphin Island. All right. Okay, <laughs> so when we come back, uh, you're going to keep stirring this. We're going to take things out of the oven. Spinach yep. is going in. Yes. Putting back in the oven. We'll be right back uh, and we're going to toss things over to Joe. Shrimp pasta bake. We just took this bad boy out of the oven. What do we have yes. going on here, Lucy? So in the baking dish, we cook tomatoes and garlic and onions and some white wine and a bunch of spices and a block of cream cheese. We cooked that first in the oven mm -hmm. for about 20 minutes at 350. And then I took it out and I added one bag of fresh spinach and I just you know, it'll be, of course, spinach, as you know, it'll wilt quickly, but um, I kind of fold it in the fresh spinach and just kind of push it down as best as I could with the spoon and just popped it back in the oven for another five minutes. And you can see it just wilted perfectly. And now I'm just adding eight ounces of, I just used whole wheat penne pasta, but you could use whatever pasta you liked. And we're just um, folding this in. And then the last thing is going to be the zest and juice of one lemon. Nice. And it will, it'll thicken up, you know, as pasta sauce cools, it'll kind of thicken up, but um, it is a great, re it'll reheat, you know, it, shrimp, it's kind of like people think you can never reheat shrimp, you know, you can, but really all leftovers, you kind of need to reheat gently. Mm -hmm. um, so if you do have any leftover, don't worry, you can totally reheat it, just do so gently. Is and that the voice they use when they're going to reheat? Yeah, like, no, you can't yeah, do it. You can't, you can't do, do it. <laughs> naysayers, you yeah. know. Um, but there may not be any left. So I made, um, my mom came over for supper last night. I was telling you, uh, yesterday was Skittles' fourth birthday, Yay. our youngest. Happy birthday. And um, so my mom came over and made a chicken pot pie last night, and which I've shared on here. If you love chicken pot pie, you got to try our family's chicken pot pie. It's on our website. And um, so after supper, I was making this and had Spiro taste it. And he said, oh my gosh, that's even better than the chicken pot pie. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Nothing's better than the chicken pot pie in this house. But um, anyway, so it's so a super easy recipe. And especially if you're looking for um, an alternative to meat for the Lenten season. Can I add some Parmesan cheese? Oh, yes, that would be that? great. That okay. would be great. Just make it a little less healthy with <laughs> dousing Parmesan cheese on here. Great recipe, fantastic recipe. Uh, Greer's is heading past Mardi Gras into the spring season. Mm -hmm. Lots of fun stuff to look forward to, of course. Absolutely. I told Vanessa earlier about our Dolphin Island um, our beach delivery that we're starting here in the first of March. So if you do have plans to go down to Dauphin Island for spring break, or if you are just going to be d down there at all, um, we have a delivery service now that we're going to start where we'll get all your uh, groceries into your condo or house before you arrive. And of course, delivery um, while you're there. So we have an app, which is just Greer's on the app store. It's free, or you can go to greers.com slash shop for all that info. It's coming out uh, Friday. I think is March 1st. All right. Lots of great stuff. This is a great 
great recipe. Can't <laughs> wait to try this for myself. Good times, and Matt can feed the whole family, you, the boys, and the wife. Yeah, it does look good. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about, we've got good weather, great weather here as well. I mean, we're looking at nice conditions, not only today, but through the week and into the weekend. It's really a bearer of good news here. Right now, 62 in Mobile, 59 in Pensacola. Really comfortable conditions here for us. You can see all across the deep south, really nice conditions out there, 50s and 60s out there here at 950 in the morning. High pressure in place, giving us beautiful weather, clear skies, just nice conditions, light winds here today on your Wednesday. This afternoon, so as we get to lunchtime, be about 70. We'll top out in the low 70s with sunshine. It's Chamber of Commerce type of stuff out there this afternoon. I know it's Wednesday. You may be stuck in work. Maybe get outside for a little bit for lunchtime or something like that. It is going to be very enjoyable. This evening, pretty nice here as well. So you get off work and you're like, well, I want to Enjoy a little bit of time outside. You can do that. Temperatures will be very comfortable. Light jacket needed as we go into the later part of the evening, but otherwise doing really good here tonight. Tomorrow, hey, looks terrific here as well. There'll be a few more clouds around. It'll also turn breezier. See these winds out of the south at 16 miles an hour and gusting higher than that. So it gets breezier mid 70s. That wind out of the south warming things up. Get into the mid 70s in the afternoon. We could see a sprinkle or two tomorrow. You'll see that here on the future cast. Well, obviously, today is clear, not much the way of wind today. Tomorrow, things will pick up a little bit. We'll see some showers late in the day, maybe into the evening. But when I say showers, I mean like one or two drips or drizzles. It's not going to be much. That's why the rain chance tomorrow is only 20%. Not going to be a big deal. More just the cloud. You'll notice the clouds and the, the breeze more than anything else. And it'll be windy on Thursday and also be windy on Friday as well. And then look at the weekend. Man, it is going to be fantastic. A little cooler in the morning, Saturday and Sunday, but warming back up in the low 70s in the afternoon. You can see all week long it's going to be really, really nice. So we've got some great conditions. Get out and enjoy. I'm often asked, how'd you become the largest injury firm in the world? The answer is simple. We cared a lot. Over 30% of our new clients are referred by former clients. That says it all. Injured, there's only one Morgan & Morgan. To everyone who believes in tradition, come enjoy a few of ours from Wisconsin. People in Wisconsin love a good fish fry. Really love. And we love sharing it with guests everywhere. At Culver's, we still batter our North Atlantic cod by hand to order. And we cook it to a crispy, golden perfection just for you. For you. For you. So it's crispy outside, flaky inside. Let us take care of you. With some homegrown traditions we were raised on. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. Alabama's conservative fighter, Barry Moore. He takes on the D.C. swamp and stands with Donald Trump. Why are out-of-state millionaires funding lies about Barry Moore? He says no more handouts for Ukraine and put America first. He's taking the fight to Biden and weak-kneed rhinos. Moore backed Trump when others backed down. I'm here to endorse Donald Trump. Barry Moore, veteran, conservative, fighter for Alabama. Go Trump! School Freedom Fund is responsible for the content of this ad. Come on, Michael, come on. Catch the ball! Huddle up! Do you need to get your eyes checked? Well, actually... Here's the play. Stanton Optical makes glasses in 30 minutes. It's easy on three. One, two, three. Easy! easy. Hut! Hut! Come on, Michael, you got this! Come on, come on, turn! Michael, catch! I can see! You did it! I did it! 30-minute glasses? Now that's an easy play. Stanton Optical. Easy's our thing. At HCA Florida Healthcare, our extensive network of specialists keeps us one step ahead and keeps you moving. Learn more about orthopedics at hcafloridahealthcare.com.
Employees at a Goodwill warehouse in Pennsylvania make a surprising discovery, a 14 karat gold Lego mask. Where, where do you find that? According to a Facebook post by Goodwill Industries of North Central Pennsylvania, the gold Lego bionicle mask had previously been up for auction and went viral online. Per the Goodwill post, this is one of only 30 masks ever made like this. The organization says the masks were gifted to Lego employees, while others were won as prizes in a 2001 magazine contest. Wow, the rare item is now up for auction and could bring in a substantial sum. Wow. Oh, that's why I was like, who, where, where do you find these? But I guess they were given to coworkers or employees. What do you do with it once you have it? To you turn into the mask. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Like Jim Carrey back yeah, in the day? Yeah, probably. You, like you hold it up to your face and then all of a sudden yeah. it sucks on there and yeah. you turn into a whole new character? <laughs> yep. Well, if you wrote it like that in your eBay auction listing, you could maybe it sell it for a, a higher price. It'd make a lot of money, yeah. yeah. Then it... Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Cuban Pete. Cuban, Cuban Pete. Pete. There you go. All right. Uh, we're going to have more Studio 10 coming up mask, coming up mask, coming up next. We're not going to talk about masks. We're going to talk about more stuff next. <laughs> I grew up in the South. I love it here. Like I love the homemade taste of Jack's. Right now, get our Bacon Ranch Big Jack. All beef patties, crispy bacon, and yeah, homemade ranch. Get the Bacon Ranch or our classic Big Jack starting at $5.49 with fries. In our communities, roads aren't just pathways. They're the connections that weave our stories together. Stories and lessons Doug Harwell's grandfather taught him as he transported livestock and livelihoods on roads made of dirt and dust. Today, Doug Harwell is a road builder by trade. He is not afraid to stand up to Joe Biden and the Democrats. Doug Harwell will get this county moving in the right direction. Together, we can pave the way for smart growth. I'm Doug Harwell, and I humbly ask for your vote. Car wreck? Call Caldwell Wenzel. A big insurance company can grind out 35,000 claims a day. To them, your car accident is just business, but to you, it's personal. And what's personal to you matters to us. At Caldwell Wenzel, we're here to serve the injured people of South Alabama. Let our experience work for you. Call Caldwell Wenzel and get the no fee guarantee. 444 7000. 444 7000. Hear that sizzling? That's baloney whispering. I'm back. The big baloney breakfast sandwich is back at Jack's. Two thick cut slices of fried bologna, eggs, and cheese on Texas toast for $3.99. Jack's, all about the South. Learn how to design a floral arrangement like a pro with lush florist and gifts upcoming class. Also ahead, a quick and easy recipe for tonight in What's Cooking Chicken Parm Soup. Welcome into Studio 10 on this Wednesday. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Joe Emer. And I'm Vanessa in for Chelsea, who is at Sarah Lynn High School right now. Yeah, uh, Chelsea's there. Stephen Moody was there earlier. Jennifer Lambers is there. They're having a career day. Mm -hmm. So fun for the kids to learn all about uh, being on TV. Yeah, it'll yeah. be fun. It yeah. looked like they were having fun. Good stuff. All right, getting into our headlines this morning. Kicking back with your favorite TV show could help you relieve anxiety, stress, and help improve your mood. So doctors say people tend to enjoy their favorite shows or comfort shows because they're often easy to resonate with. They also say comfort shows can come in any genre and can often trigger a sense of happiness and nostalgia. Doctors recommend watching comfort shows as a positive distraction, but to also take a mm -hmm. break if needed. Do you have a comfort show? Um, I love reality TV, so I will say like shows, for instance, Love is Blind. I have a thing for Love Island UK. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Uh, it's The Office. It's it's the American version of The Office. It's just 
whenever whenever I can't find anything else to watch, I'll put that on. And the cool thing is, like, you can you know the characters, so you can just get in on the mm -hmm. laughs, but you don't have to really pay attention to the plots and stuff because you're just doing whatever. Yeah, I do. I do agree with this research. Obviously, like, if it's something that's lighthearted, something that mm -hmm. you know, it'll make you feel not better about yourself, but it's just it's nice. Yeah. But also makes me lazy. <laughs> like, I don't want to do anything else because I just want to go to the next episode. Yeah, and just binge and yeah. just keep going on. See, what I think that's the thing about comfort shows, though. I think part of the reference is for you, you're watching for the first time, and that, mm -hmm. that's cool. But a lot of them are things that you've already seen, like right. a comfort movie or a comfort show, one that you're already familiar with. Okay, well, yeah. I, aside from reality TV, I don't go back and rewatch shows. Yeah. With the exception of The Office, I don't do a whole lot yeah. of that either. You have a chance to hang out with an iconic pop star in Las Vegas. Christina Aguilera is inviting a few people to spend a weekend with her. The beautiful singer will host a fan and up to three more guests at her home away from home in an Airbnb fit for a pop star located just off the Vegas Strip. So the two nights stay starting February 29th kicks off with one on one time with a singer, including craft cocktails, conversation and photo ops. The fun continues with a glam session, dance class taught by her personal choreographer, dinner at Christina's favorite restaurant, and front row seats to see her intimate Vegas residency. So you can request a booking starting February 22nd at airbnb.com slash xtina. Beautiful Airbnb for sure. Are you a Christina fan? I mean, I, I enjoy her music. I wouldn't say like, oh, I have all her albums. I've listened mm. to all her songs. But if anything, I can say she is one that has just like an amazing voice. Oh, yeah. It's just <clears throat> massive, powerful yes. voice. And in Christina Aguilera. I'm sure the way this is structured, you know, this the superhero, that's what it says on the screen, says spend a weekend with mm -hmm. Christina Aguilera. I'm sure you see her show, which is cool, and I'm sure you do that one meet and greet thing with her for yeah. a little bit, but I'm sure like that's like 30 minutes of that, you see her show, and then all the other stuff in between. So I don't think it's like... You don't think she's spending the night? Yeah, I don't think you're waking up in the morning <laughs> being like, hey, pass Good me... Good morning. The, pass me the Good syrup. Good morning, Christina. Yeah, so... <laughs> But cool stuff regardless. Yes. <laughs> McDonald's is officially branching out into the beauty industry. The fast food chain announced on Tuesday that it is releasing a McDonald's themed nail polish set in collaboration with beauty company Nails Inc. The set includes a nail polish duo, a mini nail polish duo, an artificial nail set, and gold hearts topped polish. Wow. So the set and all individual items will be available in March on Amazon, the Nails Inc. website, and at Target. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> I, don't, I don't really understand why. Why the collaboration? Between I mean, now you can get fries and uh, French tip nails from McDonald's, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> get your nails <laughs> and your fries. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess. I don't know. It's different. That is definitely different. This is McDonald's doing one of those marketing gimmick moves where right now we're saying the word McDonald's a thousand times because we're talking Everyone's about something that... Everyone's going to go buy yeah. these nail kits. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's going to go buy the fries. I don't know who's buying Ooh, the, the nail kits. I'll take the fries. Yeah. Two teams from Colorado have become the first to receive an athletic scholarship to play cornhole at college. So Jason Rimmick and Gavin Hammond met while playing in a cornhole tournament. They soon discovered a passion for the game and a skill for playing together. The pair won back-to-back -back national high school cornhole championships, which got them noticed by South Carolina's Winthrop University. So they received a first-of-its-kind scholarship to play on the university's newly created cornhole team. The scholarship will cover about six. 60% of the cost to attend the university. Imagine that just that for playing this simple bar yard game. That is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a bar yard game. Yeah. Are you uh, good at cornhole? I'm going to say yes, but most of the time I play it is at the bar. So yeah, <laughs> Matt cornhole aficionado over there. <laughs> no, I'm not very good. I'm sure their dad told you like, why y'all playing that all?